Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Shiva Ayadure. We're continuing our lung congestion series, and now we're going to move over to looking at Dong Kwai and its effects for lung congestion. Some of you may have heard of it, some of you may have not, but we're going to jump right into it. What is Dong Kwai root? It's known as Angelica sinensis. And Angelica sinensis is an herb that's indigenous to China. It belongs to the Apiacea family, and it's widely used in traditional Chinese medicine. You're going to learn today the chemical components as we normally do. There are five major molecular pathways. And then we're going to look at the effects of the Dong Kwai root on lung congestion. Very high level from a systems perspective. You have the lungs here. Over here, we have the normal airways. As you can see, they're clean, nice and thin walls. Over here, when you have congestion, you have very thick walls. They're scarred, mucus, and the airways are expanded. The entire process of understanding this comes through a technology I created called Cytosol. Cytosol is a very powerful technology that allows us to do this kind of systems level understanding we don't have to kill animals and do stuff in a test tube. Long before that, we can look at what research has been done, aggregate that research together, figure out the molecular pathways. And all of this is done using the computer software that I invented for my PhD. When I created Cytosol, the idea was how do you discover pathways? And then how can you actually use that discovery to figure out how combinations of molecules work within that? Because if we can do that, then we can do complex analysis of things that pharma companies cannot do. And that was really the development of cytosol. You're going to learn about how the components of Don Kwai affect lung congestion. There's about 1,044 research articles that have been written on it over the last 43 years. There's about 26 clinical trials done on it. A herb or root or food is a multi-combination drug. That means it doesn't just have one chemical compound in it. It's got a mixture of compounds. That's why food is medicine. I wanted to let you know that we use the technology here. We've helped many, many companies over the last 16 years. A lot of smart, innovative companies, but we decided with all the mathematical models we've created, why don't we try to use this to compute the best product we could think of from the science out there for reducing pain and inflammation, pain and discomfort. And that resulted in us creating MV25 using Cytosol. We're going to have more products that are going to be coming, but let me just show you what MV25 is about for those of you who haven't heard about it. But this is using Cytosol in a beneficial way, not to just do research, but find combination therapies. I am Barbara Ann. My hands would cramp up so that I couldn't hold cards or knit or crochet. And they would go like that. Not have to use this when I played cards with my grandkids. And I'd start taking that MV25. After a bit, I was able to hold cards in my hand. Very, very little cramping, hardly at all anymore. MV25. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. I tore my ACL during Taekwondo. I had a lot of pain and limited mobility. I've been taking the MV25 for about six months now. After the first week, I noticed a big difference. After the second week, almost literally no pain. My name is Jeremy and I suffer from a lower back problem. Hurt my back at work years ago and I can go to the chiropractor, do all kinds of different things and nothing seems to help. And I decided to try MV25. I didn't notice a difference immediately, but within a few days, the pain went away and it stayed away. I've continued to take it. And even when I do things that I shouldn't do, it seems to go away a lot quicker than it ever did before. By the way, all the proceeds go to support our research and our movement, etc. If you buy six bottles, you get six bottles for free. Please take advantage of it because first of all, it's going to help you. It's going to help our movement. And it really supports the fact that we want to take science-based approaches to natural products. You can get MV25 if you go to vashiva.com right on the shop. You'll click there or you can go right to mv25.life, what I'm playing you either way. And then from there, you can click on the bottle and you can order. So Don Kwai is composed of 70 different compounds, coumarins, polyacetylenes, calcones, sequisterpenes, polysaccharides, and phytosterols. These 70 compounds can be classified into a whole range of molecules. And here are some of those. There's ferulic acid acid, pollutin, umbelliferone, ligustolide, carvacrol, and beta-pinene. These are the six that have been well studied in the literature. Now, there could be many others that we're talking about, but they're not as well studied. And when we do our research here, we can only base it on what's out there. And we'll come back to cytosol, but cytosol is a technology we use for understanding this. So let me go to look at the biological effects. The biological effects of Don Kwai, it's antioxidant, it's antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and vasodilatory, which means it opens up 
up your vessels. So what are the health benefits? Well, hypertension, right? Because it's a vasodilator. Infertility. In Chinese medicine, Dong Kwai is really, really powerful use for infertility, for women's, you know, sexual health issues. It also supports alleviation of joint pain, ulcers, anemia, constipation, and allergy. So those are sort of the broad health benefits of Dong Kwai. These are the five pathways that are involved in lung infection. So if you can figure out how to use different foods and medicines to interact with these, some of them you want to accelerate, others you want to get rid of, then you can eliminate lung congestion and get to better lung health. Let's start with the arachidonic acid metabolism pathway. This pathway uses fuel as arachidonic acid, and with that arachidonic acid, your body will produce PGE2, a prostaglandin, which causes inflammation. Another is cytokines. Some cytokines are inflammatory molecules, which are signaling molecules, but through a series of pathways, your body, through this MAPK process, will produce TNF-alpha, and as you can see right here, IL-6, which are also known as cytokines. Then another pathway is via NF-kappa-beta, right here, which passes a nuclear membrane and creates IL-6 also. And then mucin production, this is how your body, through all these little mechanisms of molecular reactions, produce is mucus. You can get it from cigarette smoke, you can get it from other sources, but ultimately this pathway leads to the actual production of mucus. And then finally, when you have smooth muscle relaxation, when MLCP is upregulated, okay, through this pathway, that's a good thing. You get muscle relaxation. But if you go down this pathway, it blocks this, okay? So there's various ways you can get MLCP, which produces MLC, that leads to relaxation. But if you don't get MLCP, you don't get muscle relaxation. Smooth muscle relaxation in particular is very, very important for eliminating lung congestion. So visually, you can think about this as you got seven different chemicals. Six of them you wanna bring down because that helps in lung congestion. And one of them you wanna bring up. We have all this machinery and you have to look at this and say, okay, okay, I'm going to take this herb. What will this herb actually do for me? And now that you starts giving you a strategic way to figure out what to do. Now, Cytosol helps us figure this out mathematically, but I'm giving you the intuition on how to think about this. So let's continue with our Cytosol analysis. We're going to walk through step by step. So as you can see, five different chemicals are affected by Don Kwai across three different pathways. Two of them, pathways involved in lowering these four cytokines, and one of them lowers mucus production. IL-1 is definitely lowered when we tested it on Cytosol. Again, without killing animals. IL-8 is also lowered, as you can see. And then IL-6 is also lowered. Okay. And then IL-8 is also lowered. These are all inflammatory cytokines, these first four. But one of the cool things is Dong Kwai has a pretty good effect in really bringing down mucus production, as you can see here. So when you put all this together, what you find is that Dong Kwai is a powerful herb for affecting reduction of cytokines and reducing mucus production. So if you go to the drugstore, you can get something that just reduces mucus, but it may dry you you out. It may have other side effects. Here, when you take a combination, which is an art and an information science, we're hitting multiple pathways. And that multi-pronged effect is very, very powerful at modulating across a bunch of systems and having a synergistic effect. So you start getting into the understanding of a systems approach to looking at how you mix things. And this is a much, much deeper way of looking at things than just saying, I'm going to take this and it's going to have this effect. And that's the kind of work we have the infrastructure to do. So please take advantage of it, go to truthfreedomhealth.com, become a Truth Freedom Health warrior, and let's win. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day, and I wish you all well. Thank you.